you really can't find anyone in the world that's not familiar with sugar. We all know it, and unfortunately, we're always eating it. When you talk about junk food, the first thing that's used in that junk food is sugar. So now we want to see where sugar came from and when it was first used. When you look at history, the only sweet thing that people ate back then was honey. Historians believe that around 10,000 years ago, the natives of New Guinea planted sugar cane and obviously they used it. But they also realized that the natives of this land didn't use it for pleasure, but they used it for medicine. So back then, there wasn't any junk food. The sugar is used here and there until 7,000 years go by and we get to India. Around 3,000 years ago, sugarcane was first used in India. And the Indians also planted and used it as a medicine. And then a few centuries later, when Darius the Great comes from Persia to India, and he becomes familiar with the sugarcane plant. It is written in history that Darius said, you guys have something that's sweet that is not honey. And after this, this plant entered Iran. But in Western Asia, the people didn't care about it. They didn't use it for medicine and they didn't put it in their food. Years goes by and sugar never enters Europe until the Muslims take over the Middle East and North Africa. And just like we said in the Holy Roman Empire video, they enter Spain and start taking over Europe as well. When they enter Europe, they take sugar with them but the Europeans didn't care for it back then. Centuries pass by until we get to the year 1069 AD. This is when sugar gets to England. These years that we're talking about, sugar is not very plentiful. It's actually a very rare type plant and you can't find it everywhere. One of the ways North African Muslims made money is that they planted sugar canes there and sold it to the Europeans. And just like we said, it was not cheap whatsoever. It was actually a very luxurious item. The rich people back then found a new culture of showing off. And whenever they wanted to say, I'm richer, they would order a sugar statue. You might say the sugar statue is for people to eat like a cake at a wedding, but it wasn't like that. It was just telling the other rich people that I have so much money that I could have a sugar statue just for a party. You could also find it in medieval European writings that sugar is considered as white gold. Just like we said in the video of turmeric and saffron, back in the day, spices were very rare and expensive in Europe, and sugar was the same. Unlike Mediterranean food and Middle Eastern food, European food was very bland and terrible tasting, and it had no real taste. When spices entered the European market, it was alongside sugar. So the Europeans were overwhelmed with good tasting food spices and sugar and they finally realized what their food was lacking in taste they were kind of going crazy they would mix everything together to come up with something it was also around this time that the spanish and portuguese started dealing spices and sugar on the side the Spanish also realized that they could plant sugar canes in the Canary Islands and since it's very close to Europe, they can sell it at a higher price in Europe. The Spanish made a lot of money by selling sugar from the Canary Islands and slowly the Europeans got familiar with this type of food. When we get to the year 1492 AD, this is when Christopher Columbus reaches America. Since he got to Central America, one of the first thing he realizes that this land is great for planting sugarcane. And when the other Europeans realized that how good this land is, they started heading towards the Americas. They came from Britain, France, Spain, Portugal, and even the Netherlands. And their idea was to plant sugarcane 
and sell it in Europe for a very higher price. One of the main reasons that African slaves were brought to the Americas was because of sugarcane and they wanted free labor to work these long hours in the farm. It was around these years that the Europeans brought 12 million African slaves from Brazil all the way to Canada. Throughout history, slavery has been done for thousands of years. Ancient Rome, ancient Egypt, slaves were used in all of these empires. But historians believe how the Europeans treated the African slaves back then was probably one of the most cruel ones. One of the first reasons they give is that ancient slaves were used in their own land and they weren't far away from the motherland. But the African slaves were hauled thousands of miles away from their home in the worst possible way. They were basically in the storage of ancient ships and they were kept in the worst possible way. There is no space and you're laying down next to everybody. Even though most of the slaves being brought to America were young men, they would die along the way from starvation, from thirst, or diseases. It's good to know that in the storage places, there weren't toilets either, and you would go to the bathroom where you're laying down. It was so tight in there that the slaves could not even move around, let alone go to the bathroom. When a young slave that struggled along the way in the Atlantic Ocean gets to the Americas, he was confronted with something even worse. They would make a young slave work for so long that they wouldn't even last for nine years. At least 18 hour work days, and that's in the hot sun. They couldn't take a break for one minute. If they stood still, they would be hit with a whip. After this, the European businessmen that had this idea hit a brick wall because they produced so much sugar in the Americas that the market became too saturated and the value of sugar dropped drastically. After this, sugar was not a luxurious product anymore and any normal Joe in Europe can now afford it and use it. Around that time, even though the Asians knew about sugar for a very long time, but they weren't interested in using it in their food. But the Europeans just got to know a product that not only makes their bland food taste better, but they could also create different things that taste way better than before. Around that time, Europeans used so much sugar throughout the day that it was extremely normal to use it every day. Historians say if you look at the Middle Ages and look at the different paintings, you see nobody is smiling. And the reason is that they used sugar every day since they were very little and they didn't know dental care whatsoever. And most of them were toothless. And the people that had paintings back then were very important. So these are important people all missing teeth. When you look at this map, especially from Brazil all the way to Canada, you will find a lot of African descendants. And one of the reasons that we have Africans all across these two continents is because of sugar. When the market of sugar dropped off, these Europeans didn't let the African slaves go. They realized that the cotton market is popping off and they used the slaves to plant and take care of cotton crops and the cotton lasted for many centuries and it eventually stopped during the Civil War. Until the 1920s, sugar was used as a sweetener for coffee and tea. The Spanish would produce coffee all around the world and the British would produce tea in India. Until 1920, sugar was very understandable and fair. But when businessmen thought about how to make money with this product, they started making junk food for the very first time. But people beforehand didn't know anything about junk food and they didn't use it like that. They mix sugar with bread, with flour, they mix it with cocoa and created chocolate. And worst of all, they mix it with drinks and created sodas. The companies that were in the sugar business and created different types of junk food, they quickly realized that sugar, just like nicotine, is very addictive. And they realized if they can keep the addiction going, they will become very rich.
Before all this junk food took place, nobody was talking about diabetes. Diabetes is one of the most famous sickness you can get by eating too much sugar, but there's plenty of other sicknesses you can get, and it also puts a negative effect on cancer. So this history shows us that the sugar that was used for medicine, it slowly turned into something that kills people. And a lot of doctors believe that the unhealthiest things people eat is sugar. Unfortunately, nowadays, plenty of foods have sugar in them, especially fast food, pre-made meat. In different types of bread, you will find sugar, fast food meat. In almost every single sauce, from mayonnaise to ketchup, you will find sugar. Even if you're trying to avoid sugar, somehow you're gonna consume some. And you could say almost all of us are addicted. So how can we quit eating sugar? Doctors say to quit sugar, the first 10 days is the hardest. And then the body gets used to it and doesn't crave it as much. But it's not like that the human body doesn't need sugar at all. The human body does need sugar but healthy sugar, like the sugar you can find in different fruits. Eating too much of that is not healthy for you, but if your body needs sugar, this is the best form. 